Hi, I'm Stuart from Big Game Hunter Sports Ball Shop. I've kindly been sent a couple of pro quality match footballs uh, from Mitre, and these balls are used in the SPFL, the Scottish uh, Football League, the EFL uh, with different graphics. So obviously, it doesn't has a different logo on here uh, in the EFL, uh, which is the English Football League. And uh, the, the same quality ball is used in the uh, FA Cup and the uh, EFL Cup. So we're going to cut this Scottish Premier League football uh, match ball uh, open, see how the layers are made up and how it differs from a match ball that you might buy and use in your own football. So the first thing to say is that this pro quality match ball is FIFA quality uh, pro stamped. That means it's gone through rigorous tests to be approved by FIFA. Uh, there are two other stamps, which is a FIFA quality stamp, doesn't have the pro, which goes through less uh, vigorous uh, testing procedures. And then there's another stamp called the IMS, which is International Match Standard. Obviously meets a, a lot higher quality than a standard training ball. And so this Delta football is a 14 panel construction. It's hyper seam technology, which means it's got fully bonded seams which means that 99% of the water can't penetrate to the inside of the ball. That means it retains its uh, full weight and its size and shape for longer so it can't get heavier as so you imagine a stitched ball might have uh, water penetrating through the seams on a wet day uh, being used on a wet pitch. Uh, and then the, the inside lining could soak up some of that water, which makes the ball a lot heavier to use, whereas a hyperseam technology keeps the same weight and shape and from the start of the game to the end of the game. So on this ball, I'm not sure whether you can see, it's got a textured surface. You can just see the dimples in there. Grainy texture, there we go, you could just see it there. Grainy texture. It's engineered to apparently deliver a pure in-flight path that makes it travel straighter through the air, gives the player increased grip when they're kicking the ball. And we just see here, this ball has got uh, embossed grooves as well. And there's three on that panel. And there's three on that panel. So pretty much all the clear panels have got one. And then these panels, the bigger panels, have got some as well, but they're in a slightly different position. Here we go. Let's cut it open and see what's inside. Now it's fully inflated, so it should, uh, once we go through, I've got a nice sharp knife, it should go through into the bladder as well, and so there should be a, quite a release of air. I've cut through one of the seams, the fully bonded seams. See if we can do it without bursting the bladder. Nope. See the seams are slightly thicker than the rest of it. So just the final bits, and there we go. So this ball has been used in games, and you can see that the bladder. So the bladder is a laminated uh, butyl rubber bladder. It's the highest quality you can get. And so you have the inside layer, which is the rubber, and then a cloth material lining adhered to that, give that extra protection. And then there is tape to give it strength and retain its shape. 
during pro quality games. One of the, uh, a match ball from uh, a lesser quality ball wouldn't be quite so intense to that. It may have um, some, maybe wound with um, some linen uh, to actually try and retain the shape of that. But this one is much, a much higher quality. And so the panels, you can see from the outside, there's half of a panel. Uh, inside, that's how it looks. On cheaper balls, cheaper match balls, this is quite rough, which is why you need an extra layer on, on the bladder. And um, you can see that this is quite a smooth finish between the joins, so there's less ridges, which means the ball has got a better shape and uh, it'll be, it will fly better through the air. Uh, I don't know if you can see the max, the layers of this. So we've got the outside layer. So the outer layer, let me try and get that. There we go. So the outer layer is a one and a half millimeter thick PU material. It's inside that is a four and a half millimeter hyper foam layer, which gives it uh, the strength and the uh, extra cushion. Inside that, the blue layer on this panel there, you see, that's uh, intercedium rubber layer, which separates the foam lining. And according to MITRE, I'll read from the uh, brochure, it says it's an intercedium rubber layer. Uh, which separates the foam lining to boost strike power, which is transferred from the boot to the ball. And then inside, inside there is a, another layer that looks like it's uh, probably slightly thinner, so maybe three, three millimeters layer uh, cushion that will sit between this layer and the bladder. And obviously we've got the uh, the valve area. So if you inserted a needle, I've got a needle here and it was lubricated and you insert it into the valve and then that goes through the outer lining, through the valve which goes through the bladder. And I'll just show you on the inside of the ball So if I push that needle back in through from this angle, you can see the needle coming through. And there we go into the inside of the ball. And that's where you can then uh, inflate the air. Obviously, if it wasn't cut in half like this. And then when you pull the needle back out, let me just see. The valve seal, self seals, creating a seal, and the air retains inside that ball. Inflated to the correct PSI. On pro balls, it's 10 to 14 PSI. I don't know if you can see it. on this valve, there are two little plastic or rubber nodules. And so when the ball is flat, uh, those nodules would stop the lining. Let me just see. It would stop the lining from blocking the hole. So when you push the needle through, if you only pushed it through slightly into there, you could just get enough air for the valve or for the lining to push away from the the valve, uh, meaning that you won't push the needle right through into the other side of the lining um, puncture in the bladder. So that's a safety feature on this ball to stop you uh, pushing the needle through and bursting the bladder when you in insert the needle. Thanks to Mitre for providing me with a couple of uh, Scottish Premiership football 
balls, uh, the Mitre Delta balls. It was interesting to cut them open and to see the difference between a FIFA Quality Pro ball and a previous uh, ball, the Mitre Impel, that I cut up a couple of years ago. Uh, huge difference between the qualities. That's probably why these retail for around £100. For those of you who are upset about us cutting open a Pro Quality Match ball, it was provided to us by Mitre. Uh, for the purposes of cutting it up. It had been used in matches already, so they couldn't use this, these balls again in the pro matches. If you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? Uh, leave a comment below if you've got any comments on this uh, particular video, or if you've got any ideas for videos that we can shoot in the future. Until next time, bye-bye.